Hey everybody, Jeff from Show It here. In this video, we're going to look at the social grid widget, how to set it up and how to use it so that you can add an auto updating live Instagram feed from your Instagram account right into your Show It site. So let's get started. For this example, uh, I'm gonna add in a blank canvas here into my design because I think that it fits best here. You can follow the exact same steps if you have a canvas that already exists that you'd like to add it on and you can add it to that existing canvas. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a blank canvas in here, just like this between these two. And this is where we're gonna add our social grid. So we'll just hover over this bottom middle icon in the bottom toolbar here and choose the social grid option. Now it's gonna load that widget up right here on the page for you. And then you wanna to look to the properties panel on the right, which is where you can connect your Instagram account as well as customize the appearance and functionality of this particular widget. So. The next step would be to connect your Instagram account here. One important thing to note is you're going to want to be signed into the Instagram account that you wish to connect. So if you have multiple accounts and you want account A to be connected in this instance, then make sure that on Instagram you are currently actively signed into account A. So we can go ahead and click connect here. It's gonna take you to this other screen. And from here, you'll actually be able to connect multiple accounts if you were to want to. So maybe you have um, it, you know, maybe you have separate brands, maybe you're a photographer and you shoot both wedding and family and you have kind of two different uh, paths for your visitors and potential clients to go through on your site. If you have different Instagrams for those different branches of your business, you could actually connect multiple different accounts. Um, so this is where you would do that. But again, just make sure that you are logged into the account that you wish to connect at the time that you click this button. So I'll go ahead and click connect here. And then next it's gonna bring you to Instagram. It would prompt you to log in or tell you who you're already logged in with, what account that is. Uh, and this is the correct one for me, so I'll click allow. Just like that, it's connecting here. You can see it'll have your handle and you could connect additional Instagram accounts. Again, just make sure that you're already logged into the account that you want to connect at the time that you click connect this button here. Otherwise, it would only reauthorize the account that you've already logged into. So now that we have that done and we're connected here, we can exit out of this and go back to the show it builder here. And then from the choose an account option, I can choose the account that I want to load here. So you'll see that if you had multiple options, you could change that right here. So there we go. We'll load up uh, my Instagram here. And now you have some different options. You can choose whether or not you want to show video posts or carousel posts or image posts. Um, so you can select those to customize how it's going to look and feel. You can also choose auto space images, which is going to auto space for the size of the text box. So you'll see it resizes there as we resize the text box. Um, if we don't want to do that, you can also choose an you know, an overflow option here, uh, which would allow that overflow to um, display when necessary. So for example, uh, maybe you have it set up here to allow overflow and on a wider screen, it would show more images as the overflow uh, was available to you. Now we also have the image gap, so you can manually change that gap as desired here. And then again, you have uh, row options here, so you can make it a two row layout instead if you wanted to. Uh, and then if we wanted fewer images, we could shorten that text box there. And then you have your alignment tools as well. So that is the basics of how you would set up the new social grid uh, widget here that is native inside of ShowIt. So if you're using a third party widget currently like Snap Widget or Light Widget, that's no longer necessary. You can load it up right here with this tool directly inside of ShowIt. The other thing to um, notice here is that if we look at it on mobile, we can actually set things custom on mobile here. So you'll see I'm under that same option, this, the social grid widget, and then we have a mobile and a desktop option. This is really handy because maybe on my desk or rather on my mobile, I do wanna go ahead and do two rows and maybe something like you know three images across. So we can configure something just like that there. And then you can see that we can have something that looks different from mobile to desktop here. So we can customize those two to get the best experience for your clients browsing your website on the device that they're browsing on. 
I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions or need anything else, just click down here in the Get Help section to chat with our team today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.